Here we have a typical trip relay TR1 connected to four normally open contacts. If we look at the flag arrangement for this relay, we have various options for how this flag operates, which will need to be defined when we order the relay. The first option is a self-reset flag. In this configuration, when the relay coil is energised, the flag operates and the contacts change state. As soon as the initiation is removed, the coil de-energises and the flag and contacts return to their original state, hence the name self-reset flag. The next option is electrical reset. In this configuration, when the relay coil is energised, the flag operates, but this time the flag and the contacts don't automatically reset when the initiation is removed and the coil de-energises. To reset the contacts and the flag, we need an external signal. This can either come from the SCADA system, a signal from a timed reset circuit on the panel itself, or from a push button mounted on the relay panel. Finally, we have the hand reset system. For this philosophy, we have a reset lever on the relay itself. Here's a typical hand reset relay with the reset levers shown attached to the relay case. Again, the flag and contacts operate when the relay is energised. But the contacts and flag don't change state when the initiation is removed and the relay coil de-energises. To reset the contacts and the flag, we need to physically push the lever on the relay up.